video games, whatever else they want back there. And the pool table, we just kind of figure that out, but that's kind of their option there. And that's a change from our, uh, the, the Laser Street Plus. Just at a glance here, Tom, it does look much bigger than you had over there. I mean, in Melon, you, you're in the existing, you do the best you can in the existing space, but it's small. Coach's office will be down there. A few offices in here, that's very <laughs> So we're already decorating the walls. I'm sure. Thanks. Coach. It's it's amazing for us walking through every week something changes like even just that the uh, the, the decorative part of the wall is something that either Chris or I have uh, have seen so the work these guys do even with the week is quite amazing. <laughs> This is the uh, the gym. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this part is actually a sprint track. This guy sprint before games, and now do it in the hallway out by the beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plus, it's always those big puddles that can kill themselves. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then the weight machines and the bikes against the wall, bikes and the uh, rubber machines against the wall. Is this strictly for the pens or do they make this accessible for the business? Yeah. The band is also like private yeah, things. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. So yeah, so yeah, you don't want to press until the right center comes out. No, it's all my fault. So, yeah. Uh, I think if you guys have been playing more recently, I haven't seen the action. Yeah, we're playing. Part of the wall in main in, in, in its main use uh, partitions we can expand it all the way during the playoffs so one of the things we wanted to do you have to make so many adjustments to your arena during the playoffs in melon we have to use duct tape and <laughs> places so we, we designed this we didn't want to design it for the playoffs we want to design it so that if we get there hopefully you get there most years we don't have to make all sorts of adjustments kill seats uh, as we have to do with Mellon for the media and things like that. So this is an area we can sort the media very well. This is where we'll have all our press conferences, where the media will eat before games. And as you see on the wall, this is where the writers in particular will, will work after the games. So if we, don't, if we aren't able to provide this kind of area, it's, it's chopped up in three or four different places in Mellon. So we're gonna, yeah, like so all over the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's nice to have in one spot. So this you is what I mean. How we do with the plasma? Yeah. expand that to uh -huh. two rooms exactly. when you win. You know, the NHL has requirements you have to provide uh, combination of X number of meetings in the playoffs. And that one was scrapped during the regular season. So we were able to think ahead, not just for media in all levels of our business, but just for you guys. This is this is one area we're going to be really happy to have. Yeah. <laughs> is there a special blogger section here? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. We'll talk after the tour. You guys can write from anywhere. You don't need that. That's true. That's true. The traditional media winds of needing the places to sit. Yeah. 
Guys, there are a bunch of rooms that I have, I have no idea what they're used for, but they're here. <laughs> NHL officials, just kidding. NHL officials, uh, linesmen, off ice officials, all that stuff are in these rooms down here. These two as well. Maybe you need to stay overnight. Maybe you need to get out. <laughs> no, but no, we thought about it. You know, we, so the upstairs off-ice officials can come down yeah. and talk to these guys right off an elevator. They can go into the meeting room. Or, yeah, the meeting room. There's yeah, obviously a lot of stuff you do. Most of the fans who come in here wouldn't even know happens or wouldn't think about it. But but stuff in the old arenas, it just it's inconvenient. You can do it, but it's inconvenient. Yeah. So even with that, that meeting, you're just trying to make some of those accommodations so yeah. our off-ice officials can communicate with the on-ice officials when they need to. It's just it'll be much easier for them to do that. There's very uh, little. There's very little in this building that's arbitrary. It's all very. There's a reason. There's a reason for it. Or some other teams who are interested in Yes, we are. And you, you feel the obligation to help because so many teams helped us. People were very gracious with their time. And again, the question wasn't just what did you do right? Maybe the most important question is what did you do that you thought was right didn't quite work out? Because everybody has those, and we'll have those. Everybody, you know, we'll pass it on to the next person. But, but sometimes you know, what you have in concept doesn't quite play out. But we really try to do our Research and of course, as you know, the, the battle took so long. We had a lot of time to do our research. So hopefully, uh, there'll be a good result. Tread, you can't change it. So we could. There was nothing we could do with metal to change length. Is there going to be an aviary? <laughs> 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 There's an aviary in every building. Yeah. <laughs> Unofficial. <laughs> Thousand seat capacity. When it was opened in 1961. The balconies didn't exist. So the walkways and the concourses and the ramps and the bathrooms were designed for 11,000 people. And all of a sudden you put 17,000. So again, there's some things as you refit the building that you just can't get up to, you know, what the level that you would like. So obviously that's that's one of the other things. It probably in addition to the scoreboard, people are gonna notice uh, <laughs> the, the, the amount of bathrooms and the ease with which they can get to the bathrooms and, and other things like that. And it's wider, just walking through yeah. those aisles. Do you know, I'm, off the top of your head, how many bathrooms are on this I don't, I don't level know. now? I don't know why I'm such the There bathrooms. is a, uh, I can tell you though, for people that there is a formula that they create, X amount of bathrooms for X amount of people in a level. I'm not smart enough to know that, but the people who did that, did this, figured that out. Um, and did you guys, did you do like a computer simulation of the crowd flow? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But again, you can simulate and simulate. And right. Oh, yeah. You want to see people in it. You guys did the big, toilet, the big toilet flush? We have not done that yet. You haven't? <laughs> that's another big event that's coming. Pretty interesting that stuff, aren't you? Pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't know why at all. It's the only reason I came. Yeah, there isn't a bathroom. <laughs> you want to know more about the bathrooms than Ben Roethlisberger? 